Hi, I'm Kathleen, and I want to welcome you back to another installment of Soundstage Central to learn what's new on the Soundstage Network for May 15th. But first, know that today, Monday, May 15th, is the last day to enter the draw for the SVS Prime Wireless Pro Speaker System, valued at $899. Visit soundstage.com and click the newsletter tab, or type soundstagen.com into your browser to go directly to the sign-up page. Now, here's what's new. From our international partner site, Soundstage Australia, reviewer Peter Katsoulis discovers that Braun can also be multicolored beautiful in the Audio Research i50 integrated amplifier. But that's not all. Earlier this month, editor-in-chief Edgar Kramer visited the Australian Hi-Fi Show, a hotel-based event in Sydney, Australia. Edgar filed a full two-part report featuring audio gear from entry level to high end. Edgar also visited Melbourne's Nirvana Sound this month, a relatively new audio specialist store with an enlightening ultra-high end product selection. He wrote about that visit too. On Soundstage Global, we had a show reporting surprise earlier this month. At the last minute, UK Soundstage writer Jonathan Gorse visited Audio Show East 2023 in Ipswich, England and reported on it, so look for that now. And today, Soundstagers Edgar Kramer, Jason Thorpe and Doug Schneider are leaving for Munich, Germany, where they'll cover High End 2023, which runs from the 18th to the 21st. Look for their High End coverage reports on Soundstage Global as the show happens. On Soundstage Ultra, Hans Wetzel reviews T plus A Electroacoustic Solitaire S530 Floor Standing Loudspeaker. The S530 is the middle model in T plus A's flagship Solitaire lineup. It features line array and line source technologies. And, I'll let the cat out of the bag, Hans says the S530 is the best loudspeaker he's ever heard. Ever! So make sure to read his review to find out why. On Soundstage Access, Tom Moon reviews the Music Hall PA 2.2 Phono Preamp. This little component has a secret ingredient an analog to digital converter that lets you make digital files of your LPs that you can play from your computer, plus it has a headphone amp. And, in his monthly unboxing feature, Dennis Berger gives some clues of what to expect from his upcoming review of the Golden Ear Forcefield 30 subwoofer. On Soundstage Hi-Fi, Doug Schneider has a review of the Mission 770 Stand Mount Loudspeaker, a reboot of a classic design from the 1970s. While it has an old-school look, Doug concluded that the new 770 produces thoroughly modern and engaging sound. After you've read Doug's review, check out our measurements taken in the anechoic chamber of Canada's National Research Council. Plus, on May 1st, Soundstage Hi-Fi featured a review of Bryston's BR20 Streaming DAC preamp by Evan McCosham. As of May 15th, the Bryston BR20 is officially a recommended reference component. On Soundstage Simplify, our site for convenient, lifestyle-oriented Hi-Fi, Dennis Berger has a review of the Rotel S14 Streaming Integrated Amplifier. The S14 delivers a hefty 80 watts per channel into 8 ohms, and it has a built-in network streamer that supports Apple AirPlay 2, Google Chromecast, Spotify Connect, and Tidal Connect. And it's Rune ready. On Soundstage Experience, senior editor Joe Taylor reviews Van Morrison's latest album, Moving on Skiffle, our Daily Bread by Joe Lovano's Tapestry Trio, and a Tone Poet LP re-release of Carmel Jones' 1961 debut recording for Pacific Jazz. In his latest feature for Soundstage Solo, senior editor Jeffrey Morrison asks if there's such a thing as a perfect set of headphones. Read his article to find out his answer. That's everything, but I want to remind you to check soundstage.com to find all the new article links. And make sure to check soundstageglobal.com on or after May 18th to find our team's coverage of Munich High End. See you on June 1st.